Okay, let's get the sprint meeting started. You know the drill. What did you get done last week? What's on tap for this week? And what obstacles are there? As you all know, senior management is expecting great things from this new mobile app we're developing. We are close to running A-B tests. We finally debugged the last routine to scramble the IDFA and the geofences are coming together on the consent screen. Tip, can I just say how excited I am about this sucker? This app is gonna be so cutting edge, you're gonna slice your fingers open just handling it. <laughs> I'm bleeding already. Indeed, we have developed some cool functionality that should really separate this app from everything else out in the marketplace. Okay, hit me boys. Tell me what you've been up to. Sure, Tipper. First off, we are thinking of calling it the Travel Snoop Dog because it will be your mobile detective for sniffing the best travel deals out there. Remember how Darren was saying the other day that we need to be innovative and not afraid to take chances? This app is going to get so personal, so much up in your business, we'll know exactly what you want, when you want it, maybe even before you know it yourself. Because we'll have unlocked the patterns in all your data. What do you mean, all your data? Rollo? Well, for starters, it will log all the apps on a user's device, meaning we'll know all the other apps on our customers' phones. And that's just the tip of the iceberg, Tipper. It'll gather geolocation in the background 24-7. As you know, that data is gold, pure gold, and it's really hard to collect without draining the battery. So we'll store it permanently. Never know when we'll want to run a new regression or some other analysis on those old data sets. Waste not, want not. And I know what you're going to say, Tip, about how we're going to store all that data and not affect connection speed. Background upload, baby. Background upload. Wait, so this app will know where our customers are, plus keep a record of where they've been? So you can walk down the street and your phone will notify you about deals at each hotel you pass. The Travel Snoop Dog is a lot more than that. It can scan the photos in the customer's device, can parse their text messages, collect their contacts, and watch the websites they visit. And because of a loophole in Android, we can do this without even getting their permission. If you want, I think I can even have microphone integration so we can hear what our users are doing as they're doing it. And then we can use all this data to deliver the most customized and personalized experience ever. This is about being as relevant as possible. We'll use the data to drive personalization. Whoa, this is a ton to process. Don't get me wrong, some of this sounds pretty cool, but a lot of it seems creepy. Creepy? I got a tip for you, Tip. Data is king. But wait, there's more. I also got the Travel Snoop Dogg messaging people in the user's Facebook network about their hotel bookings. So their friends will receive messages like, hey, I'm staying at the hotel hangover, come join me. Of course, we'll get some form of implied consent for this. So their friends will receive messages like, check out this hotel. I've also got this sucker overriding the access to the IDFA, you know, the ID for advertisers and Apple devices. And by the way, we can probably subsidize the SMS fees we're gonna incur sending all these texts by selling the IDFAs we collect. There is a huge market for cross-device data right now. Uh, first of all, all the data we're collecting, it's anonymous, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I, I guess so. Now, on the consent, you did say we are going to get user consent for all of this. And have you run any of this functionality by legal or the IT security folks? On consent, we'll launch an efficient, meaning brief, consent buried. I mean, accessible behind at least two click-throughs. And on legal, we didn't think that was necessary because all this will be A-B tested to see if it converts well anyway. There's no need to bother them on that stuff yet. After all, all they do is slow up innovation. Just think about what this means, Tip. Innovation and execution are what we're paid for. And this is the most take a chance app I've seen ever. Darren and the marketing team are gonna love it. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure Darren didn't mean to take chances with our user security and privacy. Privacy schmivacy. I'm just trying to develop the best travel app the world has ever seen. Don't you get it that out there right now there are at least a dozen startup outfits full of hungry and talented developers dying to eat our lunch? And they're right now coding cooler stuff than we've done in years. If we're not aggressive, we're going to be left in the dust. Yesterday's news. Next on the unemployment line, comprende? Come on, we'll be cross-functional heroes. I don't get your reluctance. You know how we do things here. We're just going to A-B test all this stuff. And if it doesn't convert well, we'll ditch all of it. It's just a test. Come on, let's be heroes. Or if you waffle on all this functionality, it's a slippery slope from hero to zero. 